Yeah. Hi, fellow Spoonies. It's Pam from Fibromyalgia Easy Clothing with the long ago promised tutorial on making your own silicone bra pads. What we're going to be using is this. It's an all purpose, highly flexible silicone sealant. And you can get it Home Depot, Bunnings, any hardware store, cheap as chips. I have a bowl of water that's got quite a lot of soap in it. You can't put too much soap. Something with the soap and the silicone reacts and makes it very soft. So I'm going to pump in just enough for what I need. Hopefully. <laughs> you need to cut a pretty big hole, otherwise you'll be here forever. Let's see. I'm going to need a little more than that. But it'll have too much than not enough. When you go to cut, first you have to cut this part off, then cut a big hole on this. Don't be like me. <laughs> now, my husband said that'll stop it, and I believe him. Because he has not lied to me yet. What I made my mold from is just simple, simple modeling clay. You do have to condition it. This bit took about three sticks. You have to squeeze it, twist it, mold it, and then roll an even snake, as even as you possibly can, and then press it. You could press it to baking paper. You could press it to anything that the silicone's not gonna stick to with the fabric. But the silicone is gonna be attached to this fabric. So, spoons down, goop. We're just gonna make a mess here. I'm gonna take it and gather it up. Make sure that the soap has gotten to every part of it. It's ice cold. And my hands are saying, why? Why are you doing this to us? But, here we go. Now we have a nice chunk of silicone to work with. And we're just going to take it and press it a little bit too much. Because we don't want these very thick. We only want them as thick as the mold. We're going to just press it in place. Gently pressing all the way up to the edge. Try and get it in there smooth as possible. And then I'm going to take my spoon and smooth it out. And then if there's too much, I could just cut that off the edge. Yeah, I'm not the most graceful. <laughs> it's very, very soft, very, very, very easy to work with. And I'm not putting any pressure at all on the spoon. I'm just using the weight of the spoon. See? Nice and smooth. Make sure your fingers are wet. Although, I don't think this would stick to dry skin at all. Move this out of the way a bit. And show you that I'm just gonna take my ugly utility knife and cut off this excess best I can. So that I don't have a lump. Because lumps are what cause us problems to begin with. This is going to take at least 24 hours to set. When it's done setting, this could be folded over. Or you could do it now like I'm doing it. But it's going to leave you some raw edges. But that's okay because you're going to want to cover that. You're going to want to encase it in a little like a pillow slip. Just to keep things soft and comfy. 
and that we're going to leave. You can also make these for purse straps. Just take a purse strap, measure your silicone, put it in there, fold it around your purse strap, much more comfortable. When it comes to sewing, you don't have to. This is wash and wear glue. It's not cheap, but it's worth it. Because instead of sewing these pads to your bras, or the purse strap pad, all you have to do is glue them. This is a bra extender. You can get these on eBay, again, cheapest chips. They come in black and white, and you can get uh, two or three of each for a couple of bucks. I've taken one of my regular bras and measured the width, and it comes to about an inch and a half. And um, I'd go a little bit bigger. I cut two pieces. I did not this time take the time to make a long, long mold. Well, because my bras are 36 inches and my mat's not 36 inches. So if you need me to, please tell me on the page that you want me to make another one. But it would work the same way. These shouldn't have to be attached to any particular bra. They could go in any bra you own. Be about that thick when it's done, so it really won't show under your clothing. You can make them smaller or bigger. Once they're done, you can trim them easily. Just a common utility knife, which I got silicone all over. Or a pair of scissors. Not that big of a deal. And so, I think that concludes my very, very first video. If you guys have any questions, hit me. Hit me on the page, and I'll make us a new one. Thanks so much. Bye, Spoonies.